What's up everyone? We're back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom. We're here at the Skyview Tower in the Akala region. Let me just double check exactly. Yeah, so we're right here. Uh, last time what we did is we essentially cleared out this uh, Sokala Sky part right here. So with all the Sky Islands above right here, we pretty much cleared out. Um, so we're, now we're going to be focusing on the lower level and specifically Terrytown. That's where we're going to be heading to. So, uh, I, I believe, according to everything, yeah, Terrytown is right here. So we'll go, go ahead and get on our horse um, and make our way to Terrytown. Probably this long way right here. Maybe we can see what's going on right here. But yeah, that's going to be the plan. So let's go ahead and head that way now. Uh, I think I have a couple side quests that I can do there at Terrytown. So I have the search for Colton quest, and then I also have a quest where one of the stable owners wants me to go ahead and take a picture of the, what's it called? I think it's a bell. It's gonna be a bell that's there at Terrytown. Okay, so let's see what's... Oh, how are we gonna do this? How did we get up here? I say don't remember. Okay, so yeah, we can just come down through this way. Seems fine. <laughs> Ouch. So this is the stable that we discovered before already. There's the sky view tower. Okay, so right here we have a place that we can make. We can go obviously to the left right here or continue straight where it's going to be a dead end, but I, I'm just wondering if there's going to be anything over there. Uh, I guess let's just continue to the dead end real quick. And like I said, I so this is the Hudson construction site. Maybe that makes more sense. But yeah, so, seems like it's gonna be a dead end over here, but maybe there'll be someone that we can talk to, you know? Oh yeah, it seems like there's a good amount of people here, actually. And I see this person over here. I see a couple people over here. Oh, Gorons. At least one Gorons. Chipson. From what I've been hearing, Goron City is back in business. Which means I'd, be, I'd better hurry up and finish work out here so I can get back to Unaboko HQ. You a traveler? Careful now. The ground is uneven, what with all the debris everywhere. I wouldn't wander around too much if I were you. So we got Sunderlines. And then let's see, let's see what's down here. Little cave. <laughs> Another Bubel gem. I don't see how I would get over there. But at least I got the Beeble Jump. I'm just happy about that.
Yeah. All right, let's continue. Let's just see what's going on in this area, the central area. That's up to standard. Good evening. Huh? Who are you? This is a Hudson construction site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Uh... Not to mention the falling ruins. Those are incredibly dang dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. Oh. More Zonii artifacts fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. Mm. Hmm. Look, see that? Only three have been found on the surface. Someone on the Zonai survey team, a, a, a site like this is a dream come true to someone on the Zonai survey team. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible. <laughs> anyway, this is a Hudson construction site, work site. Mm. No civilians allowed. <laughs> uh, they don't only do buildings like the ones at Lookout Landing, they also build machinery like the Skyview Towers. And just wait until you hear about their latest invention. This balloon. Can you believe it was made using Zonai devices? Pura has taken a keen interest in all the Zonai devices found here. So she asked Hudson to make this balloon for the Zonai survey team to use. Thanks to this thing, the scope of our research has broadened considerably. Uh -huh. I got a little carried away. Anyway, people are working here. So please give them some space. Ooh. If you're headed to Terrytown, that rally car to the east is the quickest route. Rally car to the east. Got some more people over here. Let's see what's going on. A little side quest. Like I told you, tricked us. Let's see. Hey. Furnison, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we'd get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of old junk that no one can control? What kind of fool do you take us for? Aww. You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before, I'm working with Hutton Construction to make vehicles out of the Zonai devices and other debris that fall from the sky. And yes, it's true. We haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. So that's why we asked you here. Why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. Uh? So what it's, what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. We found nothing among these Zonite devices capable of controlling your vehicles. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terrytown work. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit chat. Didn't you say those Zo thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends? You're trying to tell me something that old and run down is still useful? Please. Oh. We did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shabone? Oh. Hmm. Fine. If Tally wants to help, then help is what we'll do. What? Oh, um, good evening. You're not with Hudson Construction, are you? I guess if he's here, he, he must be involved somehow. The name's Furnison. I'm working with Hudson on a Zonai device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. In fact, right now we're prototyping new vehicles. Unfortunately, we run into a bit of a problem. We have found a Zonai device. We haven't found a Zonai device capable of controlling the vehicles. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, I guess I'll help him out. I mean, I guess. Wait. I don't even have it. <laughs> huh. See if there's anything up here. 
but obviously right there we know what zone I device we need to be able to control these vehicles we need I don't I don't remember exactly what it's called but I think it's literally called control controller or something like that um Oh man, he's he's hard at work. Um, yeah, I, I wonder if there's really not gonna be one here. Uh, uh. Done and done. Hey, it's rare to, to have visitors at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Terrytown? If you're going there, the rally car right in front of you should come in hand. <laughs> it's a suspend cart that'll take you from this workshop to Terrytown, like sun and done. It's President Hudson's pride and joy. It doesn't cost anything to use, so use it whenever you like. If you want to move or stop the rally car, just strike it directly. It's pretty dark, so watch your step when you get on the rally car. Lately, folks have been into affixing decorations to weapons and shields and such. Turns out most of them can't deconstruct what they've done, so my brother Pelison, Pelison started a business to do it for them. Get it done. Done and done. Give it a shot sometime. Okay. So I wonder if... Oh wait, we got another side quest here. Ah, are you interested in this too? Oh. Look at this. It seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. But what is it? And where did it all come from? Where did it fall from? Okay, so for this, I honestly kind of forget. What did we drop in it? We drop... Oh, uh, where did it go? These things, right? Am I wrong? So let's just demonstrate this to this guy and I'm sure this will clear his quest. Oh, no, that didn't work. What am I supposed to put in this again? What are these? There we go. And there's the control panel. Huh? That's what those things are? There are Zonai devices inside this thing. I think, yes. I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery. Probably. And contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Terrytown. Hikariko Village and Nakluta, south of here, has one. And there's one in the southwest, too, at Dig Dog Bridge, near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Uh... It be that the types of Zonai devices inside each area's contraption are different? Uh... Questions requ require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel the need to ceremonially award you for your big discovery. I'll take uh... that. I found it while investigating some fallen ruins. It's rare and was never seen before the upheaval, but the properties are something of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plant in Kikariko Village. That's to the south here, south of here in Nekluta. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Ah. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again. Nice. Okay. Um, let's go ahead now and wait. Did I take the control panel? No, I didn't. Okay, so let's take the control panel. Okay, so I guess it's called the steering. That's its official name. So now let's just take the steering stick. To over to these people who are trying to wait is this another side quest oh 
Oh, look at that. There's Colton, I think. Could the light pattern on Zoni devices have an application as a form of luminescent, luminescent guidance? I can only speculate, of course, as verification of my hypothesis is impossible. Oh. Ah, apologies. I was lost in thought. The Zoni devices here all fell from the sky. I've sur surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quantity anywhere but Terrytown. Mm. My research into practical application is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilization for a long time. To us, Zonai obsessed research team members, this place is paradise. Oh. You're free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Hmm. For so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? Okay, so. Here we go. Whip this bad boy out. Get it on here. Hey now. That vehicle is a prototype. Please do not touch. Hold on. What? Incredible. Just just look at it. It's perfect. I have no doubt that Zonai device was made for steering. Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? I don't get it. That weird thing is going to make that huge contraption move? Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Ah, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Mm. Let's see. I think I flip the switches here and here and yes. Ah. Ta-da. It's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them. So here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started with the time limit. Do that and we'll call the test drive a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But if this device works, <laughs> we'll have built another new vehicle and on the and on uh sorry, and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready now. If you don't mind, I'd like to give it a give it a try. Yeah. Then let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. Oi. Now, let me quickly remind you of the rules. It's simple really, just touch all of the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. Oh, and don't let go of the steering device or go too far off the course. We can't get the driving data we need if you do that. Finally, things are getting interesting around here. You better believe I'll be keeping a close eye on your technique. Hurry. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Look at this technique. Oh, it seems you can make it go faster by pushing up. Oh yeah, check it out. Check me out. Too easy, too easy. don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah! Ooh, a technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tally? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Eh? We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. Let's figure out the Zonai device's whole capabilities. And, uh, I'm counting on you to help me out. Here. Please consider this a down payment. 
You're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Ah. The sleepover ticket for a stable closest one here. To here is probably South Akala Stables. Been there, oh. done that. Head straight down that road. You can't miss it. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest and a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you're as excited as I am. Yeah. See, the vehicle is up and running. So don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Terrytown race project. And finally, I can do just that. Now it's time for me to start preparing a test course. Ah. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. Huh. The Terrytown race. Hmm. Yes, I am looking forward to it. So what, I have to go rest and before this next phase is... Ah. Do I have to go to the stable? Can I just go rest somewhere else? Okay, but other than that, I do believe that's everything here. Oh look, there's a well here. I didn't even realize it. Check out this well. <laughs> no, my hammer's gonna break soon. Or, I said hammer, but you know what I mean weapon. My stone talus weapon. have this one for now oh wow it, oh so this is just the other side of that small wheel a bunch of small wheels I'm guessing in here was the the bubble frog, right? What about over here though? Another entrance somewhere. Who knows if we will find it though? Honestly, it's not. I don't. I like that important to me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and... See. Just sit here, do I have to light a fire? There we go. So let's just sit until morning. No, we're getting our rest. 
like she said. And let's go check up on her and maybe, maybe we can go ahead and get the next phase started for this. Actually, I, I just don't know if I actually have to go take a rest. I don't see why I would. And also... I mean, I guess. Let's try it. Let's just see. I swear though, if I come and rest and not ready, that will be pretty whack. Hi. Oh. Are you just a regular bread? Oh. Bed? Full 24 hours. Whoa. When the glow of the blood stain of I think I'm just gonna... Well, let's see. How far is it? Nah, I think the move is to come here and then just fly down. Down there. This is where we're heading. Where we're heading. As you can tell. Oh yeah, so. Seems like she got some extra things set up. Or was that already there? Who knows? There we go. You're the traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a look at this. <laughs> With the help of Hudson Construction, we built a course for test driving vehicles. These runs will help us better research the steering stick's capabilities. So welcome to the Terrytown race. <laughs> With Tally as our test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design. And we arrived at this masterpiece. Oh. Watching you drive the course was very informative. I'm grateful. Dark so. Mm. Drivers have to use the steering stick we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data I need. As far as the vehicle itself, anything goes. Use whatever you like. Now, if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some, some driving. Ah. While you're at it, why not spice things up with a little competition? Say, you versus Tally. She used to be called the Dame of the Dunes. You know, if you can be her, be her time, well then, you win. <laughs> yes, not a bad idea. Oh. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If I recall correctly, 
Allie's best time is two minutes exactly. So how about it? Want to see if you can beat Tally's record? Yeah. I apologize. I got excited, and I can't help but woo and who when I get excited. <laughs> Once you've readied the vehicle you plan to use in the race, go ahead and attach the steering stick we prepared. Oh. Since you'll be helping us collect data, any Zemini device or building material you find around here is yours to, yours to use. Let me know when everything is ready. want the regular car. I'm gonna use that auto build in a, a minute. Let me just use this. Is this gonna be fast enough? Okay, we have to use the, the steering stick that she prepared. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the vehicle looks good. Ready to begin? Steering stick, stick is all set up, so we're good to begin. Let's see. First, I'll activate the switch for the course. Hey. Let me explain the rules again. Allie's record is 2 minutes exactly. You must touch all the lights and return to the starting point in that time. Don't take your hands off the steering stick once you've grabbed it or go too far, of course. Now, on your mark... Let's go. I hope this is fast enough. I don't want to get too creative. Attach a rocket to the back end. Some battery so it doesn't run out. I mean, I've already thought about this stuff. I just don't really care <laughs> to make it super fast or anything like that. Let's go this way. Wait, is this water? Uh oh, am I in trouble? My battery's gonna run out, huh? Alright, so I can go through the water pretty much. Right? I can go through all this? Yeah. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. believe it you actually broke tally's record here this is my way of thanking you for helping us collect so much valuable race data <laughs> would have thought evo could race like that all right i'll say it that was some brilliant driving your mastery of the steering stick was impressive well done well well how about that not often tally has so much to say Seems like her next great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. Eh? After seeing how you optimized your racing line, I feel like you're ready for something a bit more challenging. You and I should talk. Come see, Le come see me later, will you? Why later? Why not right now? <laughs> Thanks for coming. The thing I wanted to talk to you about is... Well, you see... 
Operating expenses for this Terrytown race are a bit tight. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is, ah. we're now going to charge an entry fee, entry fee of 10 rupees per run. Exciting news, isn't it? Thrilling, even. Yes, no, sorry. Perhaps exciting is the wrong word. It is a difficult announcement to make. And I can see that giving, giving it a cherry spin did not help. But still, you have the expert course, which I believe is worth trying even if you do have a pay fee. And of course, I'll reward you if we're, if we're able to get good data. I'm confident the experience will be well worth the 10 rupees. If you'd like, why not try it right away? That's what I like to hear. You want to use that vehicle of yours as is, or would you like to make some adjustments? Since you're helping us collect data, any Zonai device or building material you find around here is yours to use. Okay, yeah, so we know that. So, really the only different thing, I, I want to add like, um... Yeah, I want to use one of those things. I'm just a little bit afraid that it's going to run out of steam. Let's just put like a couple of those. I'll just do all five. I don't even know if this is how you actually use these things, to be honest. I don't know how often I've used them. But hopefully it's as easy as just attaching it. Because what I've been using mainly are those battery things, right? Those battery things that just make, your, make it last longer. Okay, so let's go ahead and say we're ready. So, this is the expert course. Uh... Alright. Let me just go over the rules. The time to beat on the expert course is 3 minutes. You touch each and every light, get back here before time is right, time's, uh, the timer runs out, you win. Don't let go of the steering stick. Yeah, you know this. <laughs> do my Zonai devices do the those things that I put? They don't do anything, do they? Oh man! Oh, I see, I see, I see. How I'm gonna struggle a little. I'm thinking about getting those on my way back. Now, is that the right move? I don't know. Uh, I think right now might be a better time to go for it. At least this one. So what's gonna happen once my battery runs out? Well, let's wait it out. I think I should still be able to do it in time. You just don't want to let go of the steering wheel though. That's important. Or else I think I automatically give up if, if I do that. Alright, let's go. Bro, how is this the expert course?
Congratulations. Can't believe you cleared the expert course. I should have expected as much from a Vo Tally from a Vo Tally respects. Here, please. I want you to have this memento for beating the expert course for the first time. What are you going to do now? Feel like giving it another go? Don't feel like it. Got anything to say up here? Sabak. I'm pleased to see you're looking well today. <laughs> that was impressive. You're very skilled. The expert course was difficult, even for me. I did not expect you to complete it and beat my time so easily. Oh. Not the lie, there is a lot I can learn from studying your technique. And as long as you're here, surely the research can continue without issue. Jabon and I should be free to leave. Let's continue to refine my technique. Oh. If I study the course from high above, perhaps I can determine what the fastest route will be. Alright, whatever. <laughs> So, I want to take a look. So that pretty much clears this area, right? I would say. One of my quests that I have is... Take Colton has taken his stall and set out on a journey to find something called Bubble Gems. Travel around Hyrule and see if you can find him. Okay, so... I think I, I already know where he is. He's like somewhere on this hill up here. Um, but what we can do is we can at least get to Terrytown. And maybe just... See? Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll explore Terrytown today or maybe next time. I just wanted to check out what weapons we had. What do you say? I just get on this and hit this? This takes me to Terrytown. It's kind of cool. Oh, there. Want to use the rally car? Ah. There's a fee for that. You're free to use it once you pay up. Well, I already used it. So look at us here. We're at Terrytown. Wow, there's gonna be a lot to do here. A lot to explore. Um... We're gonna go ahead and end it here though. We're gonna end it here. Uh, I know we didn't get to Terrytown today, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, and I could continue right now, but there's honestly so much here that I think it's better to just end it here and then the next time we'll go ahead and fully explore Terrytown rather than just exploring it a little bit. And you know, I'd rather just do it all in one go. And it seems like there's a lot of people to talk to here. I'm sure we'll pick up a lot of side quests to do. Um, I think I even have a house here. So I wonder if that's still there from, I mean, as long as it's using my, cause I, if it's using the same save, you know, file or whatever from Breath of the Wild, kind of like how it transferred my horses over to this game. I'm assuming that my house will be here because I did that whole 
ending where you get the house here in Terry Town. So it'll be interesting to check out. Uh, but yeah, there's just gonna be a lot here. <laughs> I'm trying to say. So this is one is a little bit shorter than usual, but hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stick around for the next one. Peace.